Suhas Kopenath enjoys coming to Munich. His many business partners are only one reason. In Munich, I like the I like the intensity's atmosphere, and of course, I love the I love the pretzel. Even if he doesn't look it, the young Indian is an old hand in the internet business. Nine years ago, he founded Globals at the tender age of just 14. Now the company is a multi-million dollar enterprise based in Bangalore, an IT service provider with customers around the world. Suhas is a popular guest at internet conferences and he's still the youngest. Of course, in the DLD, I'm one of the youngest uh, participants and a speaker here. And, uh, and of course, I'm like a shim. Of course, I'm used to this situation. Even in the past, where like actually where they used to feel that okay, is he impersonating someone else as a CEO of a company, or or is he the guy? So. This conference brings the pioneering thinkers of the internet together. The usual topics are addressed, including the newest trends, the latest technologies. But the talks are not as easygoing as usual. The internet scene is uneasy. Publisher and conference host Hubert Berda calls this new realities. I think everybody came together to get new ideas, to talk with others about the challenges, the risks. Of course, we face a totally new world. It's a, it's a shake-up. Even Suhas is feeling a little unsure. He chats with someone who has survived many crises. Yossi Vardi is something of a guru on the Internet scene. He develops software which millions of people use to chat on the web. Of course, he doesn't have a remedy for the current crisis, but he can offer encouragement. It's not an easy time, but uh, I'm now, I'm celebrating this year, 40 years of being in the high-tech industry, and I saw this kind of ups and downs already six times. And it's a roller coaster. Sometimes the amplitude is bigger than the other. It will take two years, three years, maybe four years. I don't know. I don't think four years. But it will change and there is always a light at the end of the tunnel. This is a stage for some of the heavyweights in the industry. For example, Chad Hurley, the founder of YouTube. His success is one that Suhas would love to emulate. So he listens carefully. And he ends up feeling he's on the right track. Yeah, of course, one of the strategies you need to, I mean, it's obvious, you need to have one world-class product which could attract this user base. And, and at the same time, you have to be focused on your, like I on this vision when you, when you start your internet venture. And, and at the same time, you should not, at any point, you should not lose your focus. So. His most successful product is software for schools, which, for example, informs parents if their children haven't turned up for class. It's not a global product yet, but that could change. Time now for another pretzel and a quick assessment of the conference so far. It was, I mean, it was amazing and it was exciting because uh, like, uh, entrepreneurs have almost, uh, like, uh, almost have a similar wavelength when we speak, and like, uh, it's always exciting to, uh, I mean, exciting to hear from their experiences, maybe their mistakes which they have done. So that, like, uh, as a, of course, as a fellow entrepreneur, in case if I have similar situations, I know how to handle it now. Suhas idol is Bill Gates, someone he's already met in person at a gathering like this one, which is always a good place to network. And, uh, and there's plenty of networking going on in Munich. Okay.